Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Sam, and today I'm going to show you how I essentially replicated cable television using the show Spongebob, complete with bumpers and commercials. I'm fast forwarding through them right now. But yeah, if I were to play this all the way through, it would have all those features in it. And today I'm going to show you how I did that. So the first thing that I had to do was I had to gather the episodes that I wanted. And in the future, I'm going to add more seasons of SpongeBob and I'm going to add more shows. But right now, this is just SpongeBob season one. And so as you can see, I have all of them here. And I have all of these saved on a hard drive so that it's not um, an external hard drive rather so that it's not taking up space on my computer. And so these are just video files. And so if I click on one, it'll play. And so, yeah. Um, and so I have all the episodes that I want here in this folder that is recognized by my Plex server, but I'll talk about my Plex server another day. Then I have folders for my bumpers. Now we're going to ignore the either folder right now, but these are ones that specifically come on after the episode to say that it's going to be right back. I have some for SpongeBob, then I have some for Nickelodeon in general. And then I have some here that after the commercials that say like back to the show, whatever, and then it comes back to the show. And then finally, um, I have a folder. Let me go to it real quick. I have a folder for my commercials, which is right here. And so I have a bunch of nostalgic commercials from the 2000s in here. Right now it's at 29. I plan to add more, but I just downloaded some from YouTube that I just remember from my childhood and things like that. And so I just have them here in a folder. And so what I did, if I click on this right here, this notepad file, as you can see, there's like a bunch of like coding and stuff here. And so I'm not going to explain all that, but basically chat GPT did this. I asked it to do this for me and it took a lot of trial and error. It took, I want to say maybe about 20 attempts to make it do what I wanted it to do, but I didn't give up. And so, yeah, so basically what I did was I took the code that chat GPT gave me. And as you can see, it's just text right now. But then if you like go to file and then save as you can save it, like if you type dot py at the end it'll save it as what's called a python file and i have this thing called python which is a programming language downloaded on my laptop for this reason so that um this right here the one above the check marked one that says spongebob yes you can see it says python file but if i were to click on it then nothing would happen so basically i have to run command prompt and as you can see i've done this several times already every time i rerun this it reshuffles it. And so the first thing I had to do here um, was I had to um, I'd have it find my desktop and then the folder where I'm keeping this project. Um, and so that's where uh, that's where the playlist for VLC is. And by the way, I told the Python thing, I told chat GPT that I wanted it to go to VLC media player. Um, just because that's what I chose for it. So then I'm just going to copy and paste this because I have it copied. But then after it finds that, anytime I type this in, because that's what I decided to name my little test here, and I press enter, it says playlist created successfully. And as you can see, it's 717 right now where I'm at. And if you look at SpongeBob playlist, you'll see that it says 717 right by it. So it just updated this file. So now when I click on it, it's going to take folders from all, or it's going to take videos from all four. Why is it not focusing? It's going to take videos from all four of the folders I showed you featuring the episodes, both kind of bumpers and the commercials, and it's going to shuffle them, but keep them in the specific order of episode first, we'll be right back, commercial, 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 back to the show, episode. And it does that all on a loop until a folder runs empty. Now, when a folder runs empty, the pattern keeps going. It just removes that folder. So say I run out of 
let's say I run out of bumpers that say back to the show. In that instance, it'll play the episode, and then the, we'll be right back, and then three commercials, and then it'll just go to the next episode. There won't, um, uh, chat GPTs that's smart enough to, like, have them, like, reused or whatever. So, with that being said, let's click on this. And as you can see, when I click on it, oh, I have it down here. There we go. It's playing SB125. Um, and so I'm going to put it on full screen. And so, as you can see, it's starting with an episode of Spongebob. I'll turn the volume up. Not nine for Squidward, the fact this is clarinet. So get your earplugs ready. And so it's playing it. And so, obviously, I'm not going to let it play all the way through. Um, but it's the whole 11-minute clip. Now I'm going to click this button right here. And that's going to take it to the next clip. And it'll be the, we'll be right back. And it'll pick one at random. We'll be right back. More Nickelodeon. As you can see, the quality is terrible, but that's not really my fault. That's just because the particular capture of it was not great quality. So now it's playing commercial one, and we're gonna... This is a Geico commercial. But I picked stuff that would be... probably be played around this time. And I picked stuff that would be in the, like, around the 4 by 3 uh, aspect ratio. I didn't want any... like, it wouldn't make sense to have a really modern commercial. Well... It would if it was like a modern airing of an older episode, but to do the reverse of that, it wouldn't make sense to have um, like one of these like commercials from 2002, 2003 playing with the premiere of like a 2023 episode of SpongeBob because um, that 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 wouldn't match, you know, unless unless the commercial's been airing for years and years, you know. So I picked like older commercials and older bumpers to go with the older episodes of Spongebob because I'm trying to replicate that nostalgic feel. I can I can tune into the modern stuff anytime I want, but that's why I downloaded the older stuff because you can't really find this anymore as far as like just turning on your TV. I mean, there's compilations and stuff of these commercials and stuff on YouTube, these bumpers. Now see, this one's, I'm pretty sure this one's supposed to be 4x3, but it just had the black bars on top, so... I'm gonna have to fix this one, but still. So, let's get past that. That was back to the show. And as you can see, the, um, this bumper didn't match the other one. It was a completely different, like, the other one was blue, and then that one was yellow. The other one was for Nickelodeon, and this one was for Spongebob. And so that's not really a priority for me, making sure they match. Because it was something that didn't matter to me as a kid. You know? It was just nostalgic to see the back to the show and we'll be right back kind of stuff as a whole so it doesn't matter to me which one in particular plays and so see so that's like splats going in circles right and it's spongebob so if i skip these commercials oh it actually did the matching one. sometimes it'll do the matching one and um like i didn't expect it but yeah so that's my project, and so if I let this go, it would be kind of similar to cable TV. So now to talk about um, to talk about what is missing from this project, I have yet to do the uh, split screen. The what's it called? The split screen credits, um, and I honestly don't feel like I'm going to yet. Um, I mean, I probably should at some point add that, but right now I'm pretty proud of how far I've gotten with this project. It's taken me a couple days to build this all up. I've had these episodes for a while on my computer or on my hard drive, but the other stuff I had to find, um, and decide what I wanted and things, and I had to go through and edit some stuff. Um, so it's taken some time, but there's still some stuff I could add. I plan to add more shows more seasons more just more stuff um and try and replicate as best as i can um if it's possible i might even add like one of the classic like uh oh i forget what's called the logo on the corner of the screen um uh, might add one of those who knows we'll see um but yeah one last thing i want to say this isn't necessarily saying that i'm like starting my own channel or anything like that because obviously this stuff you know it's I'm literally replicating like early 2000s Nickelodeon this isn't something that I'm gonna like call my own 
because it's not. Now, if I were combining shows from like different cable networks and things like that, maybe, but I'm still, I still wouldn't be like creating my own bumpers, creating my own like brand or anything like that. So it's not really like my channel. It's just a replication of my childhood. And so I hope y'all enjoyed getting to see what I've been doing lately. And yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.